growing up, I never really watched a lot of motorsport. Um, never really watched a lot of motorbikes or anything. But um, again, it's just one of those things that once you once you start riding bikes and you starting start paying a lot more attention to it, um, yeah, you start to get you get drawn into it. And then um, I guess one of the cool things we have is uh, is a mate of mine um, up here, Michael, is. Um, yeah, pretty well connected um, with the guys from MotoGP. So, uh, you know, he's he's managed to organise for us to get down there and, um, you know, we, we sort of got to hang out with um, Paul Spargo, um, Charvi Viergue, and it's just been phenomenal. Look, my son, Nick, just absolutely loves MotoGP now. Um, but, like, you know, those guys are uh, idols for him and um, we went down to Phillip Island last year and, and took them out surfing. That's and, unreal. And, you know, it's just, you know, hang, hanging out, they're just awesome guys. And, and you know, for Nick, he's, you know, the, the biggest thing for him was, um, you know, a bit of a boy's trip to, to Phillip Island. He'd, he'd want an Instagram account, you know, for forever and a day. And we'd been like, no, 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 no. And then finally it's like, all right, mate, you can have an Instagram account and like helped him set it up. His first post you know, it's a photo of him surfing with with two guys from MotoGP. His first two likes ever, and first two comments on his first post are from two Moto guy, MotoGP guys. Like, it's incredible. He's just sitting there going, "Oh, you know, this is this is yeah. phenomenal." And yeah, like it's. Um, are they good guys? Awesome, yeah. absolutely awesome guys. Like um, in our first year that we went down, um, you know, KDM Red Bull was was fairly new. Mm. Um, and uh yeah like paul took us in gave us a tour of the pits um you know just never never even sort of contemplated that that we'd be able to get access you know to do that to go in and and see the bikes you know paul's giving us the full tour of his of his bike and and showing us you know the whole setup and the computers and how it all works and it's it was absolutely mind-blowing um and you know, for for Nick at the time, he was he must have been uh, eleven, I think, when we went to the first one. And you know, um, Michael's got him in, so we we're in with the um, uh, who was Charvy riding for at the time. Uh, he was riding with Remy Gardner um, in one of the Moto Two teams, but Nick's in there on the on the you know, sit got photos sitting on the bike Actually in, on it on the bike in the pits. He's you know, stuck his head out of pit lane and seen him coming down, you know, in warm-up laps. And, like, it's just absolutely incredible. And then uh, last year, I, I actually managed to get out onto pit lane uh, at the, for, sorry, at the um, start of the race for Moto3. So on the grid. out on the grid. Yeah, right. And so, um, like, for me, like, I was I was a kid in what candy a store. It was, it was incredible just wandering around out on the, out on the starting grid. It was... Um, Ah, it's insane, and and somewhere like Phillip Island too, you go down there, and it's, um, you know, there's so much, um, you know, motorbike culture and and yeah. and history about it, and it's you know everybody's there for the same thing, and it's like it's incredible. You you get down there, it's such a spectacular, you know, spot to sit up, and you've got, you know, you've got every element getting thrown at you: rain, sun, wind, you know, hail, sleet. <laughs> <last year. laughs> <laughs> yeah, last year it was it was everything, and, and then you get out there and just the noise of the bikes as they're coming past. So um, our favourite spot is to um, we go and sit on the inside corner at Lukey Heights there. Yeah. So you see them coming over and pretty much always end up in if they're going to come off, they end up into the wall in front of you. And um, but yeah, it, it's just it's phenomenal. There's just, there's just something about that. You know, it's the noise. It's a, it's it's the smell. It's, it's all your senses. It's eh? all your everything's senses. alive. It's yeah. all your senses are assaulted at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. It's hard to like for people that haven't been to MotoGP. Yep, it's just so hard to describe. Like, oh, it's just motorbikes going around. No, there's just so much. And Phillip Island. Yep, you're on an island. So anyone that's there is there for one reason. For only, one reason to go to the motorcycle racing. Yep, or see the re- see Valentino Rossi or Mark yep. Marquez, even if yep. they don't like the bikes. The characters, the characters, sort of and, and the personalities. It's and it's incredible. It, it's phenomenal, and um, like to be honest, I I didn't ever think I'd I'd really follow yep. um, MotoGP or or um, or be that excited. You know, if you had told me ten years ago that 
I'd be looking forward each year to going to to Phillip Island. It's it's now it's just a it's locked in on the calendar. 